In this video, I'd like to show you the SPL falloff at distance compared between a JBL CBT speaker and a traditional bookshelf speaker. The top speaker is the JBL CBT 70 J1, and the bottom speaker is just a little Sony bookshelf. It's a three way speaker from a mini system that I have. And we're going to show you the SPL falloff based on the CBT design compared to a traditional speaker in seat one, two, three, and four. Please excuse the mess in my room. Got some new chairs, I just haven't set them up yet. So, I want to talk a little bit about the CBT. CBT line arrays have shaded drivers. As you're on axis, the top part of the speaker, and let me get to the side of it so you can see, the top part of the speaker is basically flat and it's got a J curve on it. What that means is that if you were in plane with this top speaker, it's gonna behave like a regular speaker. And if you're at the bottom part of that speaker, the part that kind of curves down, it has less power going out because it's attenuated there. The drivers are shaded with the crossover network. And so the speaker or the seat here on the bottom, it's closer to the bottom portion of the speaker, which means it's going to get attenuated sound. Now, in that previous video that we linked, you saw how nice, flat, and uniform the JBL CBTs are off axis. That's going to play to our advantage because we have that nice, uniform, off axis sound but you also have the attenuated sound from the nearest seat. How that reveals itself is if you're watching movies at reference in this theater, if you're sitting in this seat, you don't get your ear blown out by the surround speaker because it's attenuated in that closest seat. So you might've heard that CBT speakers fall off at a, a equivalent of three dB per doubling of distance, where a traditional speaker falls off at six dB per doubling of distance. That's because of that shading that we just discussed. And so the little Sony bookshelf, the three-way, I wanted to show you, that the tweeter's about ear level, which is traditionally what you want for your traditional speakers, is about ear level for the tweeter. And the line array is much higher, of course. Now the line array is on a 5% tilt. That's how I use it in my room. I measured it. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference between zero and 5%. We're gonna test this. I have this microphone at 39 inches, which is one meter from a little Sony speaker. And the tip of the Omni mic, it's a calibrated professional microphone. It's about even with the tweeter. And we're going to get it set to be 85 dB with the SPL meter. And we're going to measure that first seat. Okay, first things first. We're going to start the track here that has pink noise. And we're going to get this little Sony speaker to 85 dB. And then we're going to start our test by putting that mic on chair one. So now the JBL CBT speaker is plugged in. The mic is about the midpoint of the speaker. It's at 39 inches, just like we measured the Sony speaker. We'll make sure we're about 85 dB. It'll take me a second to adjust it. Let's get that going.
So you can see we started pretty close together. The JBL was at 85.2 dB to start and the Sony was at 85.1. And as we went the distance on each seat, you can see that the JBL had more consistency seat to seat. And that's what they're talking about when they talk about a CVT line array falls off at half the rate of SBL at distance as a traditional speaker. You can see at the end there, we gained 3.8 dB in the final seat compared to a traditional speaker. And that's a pretty noteworthy change because it means that that fourth seat is getting a more similar sound to what that first seat is getting. More consistency, more uniform sound throughout the room.